Hey everybody, here is how to use the force plate on the Vernier Lab Quest if you need to. So first, I'll leave it up here plugged in, but on the off chance that it's off, the power button is on the side right here. You might have to press and hold it for it to start. You can also just click it and the screen should turn on because it's plugged into the external power right here. So because the force plate is plugged in and check the connection, the cable is really loose so you can see that it pops out. As long as the connection is solid, it will detect that it is the force plate and it will start displaying a force that obviously doesn't make any sense. It says something is pulling the force plate out with a force of 40 newtons. Now if you think hard, you might figure out what that is and why it picks up that value. But what we'll do is, if you click on the screen and you can use your finger or the stylus, we're going to zero that. So you can tell there's some natural fluctuation. To accurately collect data for when your uh, collision is taking place, you may want to lengthen the duration of the experiment or pay attention and actually start this and know that you have 10 seconds before the experiment is over and data collection ceases. So in the bottom left corner, when you click the play button, it'll begin collecting data and you'll see that it is collecting data. You can let go of your cart at any point in this time because it takes a second for it to roll down the ramp. So you will get crazy data if nothing happens. Here, let's do a data run where something real happens. So let's run it again and this time I'll apply a force. And you can see as soon as I get a blip there, I can stop my experiment. I don't need to continue. So you've got this graph here and I'm just going to turn my brightness down a little bit more because the sun came out and now it readjusted the, the sensor a little bit. That's better you guys, I'm sorry. So that is my data and you'll notice I've got a great peak right there and I don't really care about anything else. Now this was collecting data every tenth of a second so I really only want a small portion of my graph to be in my notice. I'm going to highlight the peak and over here in the upper right corner I'm going to click on the data table icon. It should automatically take you to the highlighted portion of your data. So here's where you can scroll down and see that this collision that just took place, I don't know if you can see it because now it's red on gray, what had a force and we'll look for the peak 470 newtons so that's how you can look up what the peak force was during your collision right if you need to run it again i would go back to the graph icon and click the play button again and you'd be able to collect a second um, piece of data if you need to so to recap i highlighted the data that i wanted I went to the upper right corner and clicked on the data table icon. If it didn't automatically scroll me to my selected data, I would need to manually scroll on the right side. And there I can look for the highest value. That's your peak force of impact during your collision. So there you go. Good luck, everybody.